In Martin Scorsese's 1990 film, Goodfellas, Desimone is portrayed by Joe Pesci as the character Tommy DeVito. The film, based on the real-life story of Henry Hill, detailed in the book Wise Guy by Nicholas Pelagi, captures many aspects of DeSimone's personality and actions. Pesci's portrayal of Tommy DeVito is intense and memorable. The character is depicted as a volatile, violent man with a hair-trigger temper, the infamous how am I funny scene, where Tommy reacts aggressively to being called funny, is a chilling demonstration of his unpredictable nature. The movie also includes the murder of Billy Batts, which is one of the film's most brutal scenes and accurately reflects the real-life event. While Goodfellas captures the essence of Desimone's character, some aspects are exaggerated or altered for dramatic effect. For example, in the film, Tommy is lured to his death under the pretense that he is going to be made a significant honor in the Mafia. Instead, he is killed in a surprise execution. While the exact details of DeSimone's death are not known, it is widely believed that he was killed in a similar ambush. Who was Thomas DeSimone? Thomas Anthony DeSimone, often known as Tommy, was a notorious American gangster born on May 24, 1950, in Cambridge, Massachusetts. He was heavily involved in organized crime, particularly with the Lucchese crime family, one of the five families that dominated organized crime in New York City during the 20th century. DeSimone came from a family with strong ties to the mob. His grandfather and uncle were both mobsters, and his brother-in-law was mobster Paul Vario, a high-ranking member of the Lucchese family. With this kind of background, it was almost inevitable that DeSimone would be drawn into a life of crime. Early Life and Entry into Crime DeSimone was known to be violent from a young age, earning a reputation for his quick temper and ruthless behavior. By his late teens, he was already involved in various criminal activities, including robbery, extortion, and assault. He became a close associate of Henry Hill, another infamous gangster, and Jimmy Burke, a notorious mobster who played a significant role in many of DeSimone's criminal endeavors. Together with Burke and Hill, DeSimone was involved in a series of high-profile crimes. These included the famous Lufthansa heist of 1978, one of the largest cash robberies in American history. The crew stole about $5 million in cash and nearly $1 million in jewels from the Lufthansa cargo terminal at John F. Kennedy International Airport. While DeSimone was not directly involved in the heist, he was a key member of the crew and participated in other related activities. Rise in the Mob DeSimone's rise in the mob was marked by his willingness to use violence to get what he wanted. He was responsible for several murders, including the infamous killings of Michael Spider Gianco and William Billy Batts Bentvena. These murders highlighted DeSimone's brutal nature. The killing of Billy Batts in particular was significant because Bentvena was a made man in the Gambino crime family, another of New York's five families. Killing a made man without permission was a serious offense in the mob world, and it would eventually lead to DeSimone's downfall. Fall from Power and Disappearance DeSimone's violent tendencies and disregard for mob rules eventually caught up with him. The murder of Billy Batts was not something that the Gambino family could overlook, and they sought revenge. In 1979, DeSimone disappeared, and he was never seen again. It is widely believed that he was murdered in retaliation for Batts' killing, likely on the orders of the Gambino family. His body was never found, and he was officially declared missing. Conclusion Thomas DeSimone was a violent and ruthless gangster whose life in organized crime was marked by brutality and disregard for the rules of the Mafia. His actions eventually led to his demise, and his mysterious disappearance remains a significant part of Mafia lore. In Goodfellas, 
Joe Pesci's portrayal of De Simone as Tommy DeVito immortalized his violent tendencies and erratic behavior, making him one of the most memorable characters in the history of gangster films. While the movie takes some liberties with the facts, it effectively captures the dangerous and unpredictable nature of the real Thomas De Simone. If you've gained anything from this video, then don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the No Aim, No Gain YouTube channel for every video is a step closer to your goals. Why not also support us on Patreon so that you get unlimited and exclusive access? Link in the description box below.